How are you doing? I'm Manny, I'm from Hardcore Renos. I'm here to talk to you guys about CO alarms on the market. Any architect, any designer is not gonna tell me what I can or cannot do when it comes to CO alarms. I'm going to tell you. CO alarms have become very, very important in the last five, 10 years. And Kida, they're the forefront. They're basically coming up with products that you need in your home. Known as the silent killer, basically what CO does is it stops your physical functioning but you're still mentally aware of what's going on. You can't smell it. It's almost as light as air, so you can actually park a sensor down low, up high in the middle of the wall. With me on this particular build, I was very critical about which units I was gonna use, and I was looking to use the Kida Silhouette unit, which is actually new construction, goes right into the wall. It's about a half inch thick. It's got a light on it that tells you if there's any carbon monoxide. It'll actually tell you how much carbon monoxide is in the air. And the moment that alarm goes off, you need to get out of the house and you need to get some fresh air is what you need to get. What I did with this house is I parked two of them on the bedroom floor, really important, on one end where the children's beds are and another end where the master bed is. And then I parked another one on the main floor and I parked one last one in the basement. If any one of them go off, they will all go off and they will all notify the family and the family will wake up and the family will run out with their escape plan. Now you can't park these sensors right next to these appliances or these fixtures because you'll get a lot of false readings. So on the bedroom floor, we do have a laundry room. We do have a dryer, but it's not gas. If it were gas, I would still park it in the hallway. Three things. Three things determine why you need a really good CO alarm on every single floor. One is the appliance that you're installing in your house. So it could be a gas dryer, it could be a gas cooktop, barbecue, it could be a hot water tank, your furnace. Second thing, it needs to be installed properly. You need to have it tested, signed, and it has to be labeled on a date it was certified by someone. Third thing, it needs to be vented properly. If you're using a gas fixture in your house, all that carbon monoxide has to leave your house. You are producing the carbon monoxide. So it has to escape your house through the roof or through the side of the house. Kira only makes CSA approved units. So they have the Silhouette series is what I used in this house. Park it. You need to get it in your house and leave it there and you need to check it every year. You need to test it and you need to replace it every 10 years. Kira has designed units that basically are battery free, worry free, to last you up to 10 years. Kita CO alarms, it's one of the most important pieces I put into any of my rentals. And in fact, it is now law in Ontario and the Yukon to have CO alarms outside of sleeping areas. We are talking about a $50, maybe $70 item at the most here. You really think $70 is a lot of money when you're arguing over thousands of dollars of granite countertops, thousands of dollars of woodworking, thousands of dollars of any other material in the house. So when it comes to a CO alarm in a brand new house, in an existing house, in a new reno, I will tell you that this is what it's going to cost and I will tell you that this is what's going to happen and I'm going to put it in your house because I don't want you to ever worry about any carbon monoxide building up in your house. I don't want you to ever have to have that situation happen in your house. I want you to enjoy the house, not worry about the house. That's why I only use Kida, K-I-D-D-E, CO alarm. They're the best on the market. I will only use those ones.